Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog. So a while ago, I did this video from Giant X about the new cranes coming out from Zhiyun. These are like the three axis stabilizing gimbals. So they've launched two this year called the Weebill Lab and the Crane Lab 3. So uh, that video did pretty well. So Zhiyun decided to send me a package uh, with the latest Weebill Lab and a couple of accessories. So I don't exactly know what's in the box. So I thought I'd unbox it along with you guys and maybe do a quick you know, first impressions of the Weeble Lab, we'll test it out with the camera as well. And I'll show you guys what the image quality looks like. Alrighty. It's so exciting to open new boxes, especially when you don't know what's in them. By the way guys, I'm trying out this new mic, which is a wireless mic. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the audio quality. Do you guys find it better than the shotgun mic? Wow, this is pretty big, man. Oh. Whoa, damn, I did not expect them to send all this. It's a case and also I think it's got the follow focus motor. Very cool. Hi okay, guys, so I think this is the kit. This is what's in the box looks like. So we've got the Weebill Lab 3 over here. We've also got the backpack for the gimbal as well as some of the accessories. I think there's a follow focus in here as well as well as the stand for the gimbal so that's pretty cool pretty much everything in the box very cool let's unpack this bad boy we got the backpack nice with a rain cover and it looks really nice quality feels solid i think the gimbal's inside here no there's another box i think the gimbal's in there but it feels pretty Feels like there's something in there already. Let's see. I must say it does feel really high quality. Very cool. It's actually a camera case. I've not seen anybody else unbox a Zhiyun camera bag. I think I've got a YouTube exclusive over here. So check that out, man. It's pretty cool. So you get a bunch of pockets for all your camera gear over here. Quite cool. Very similar to my uh, Peak design bag, but this one's a top loading one so that's cool i think it's bigger as well so there's more space in here there's also uh ooh, what is this yeah transmod mini monopod so it's it's something that you put your camera on top over here and then you uh you know you can use it like as a stand this is the follow focus unit so that's pretty cool so what this does is i'm just a single person doing these videos by myself but usually there's a crew of people adjusting the focus and you know the zoom and all that so this is something that you can use to attach to your camera to do follow focus from the gimbal itself. That's the phone mounting accessory over here. So this thing over here is pretty cool. I've seen it in some other videos. It's a quick release plate. So you can adjust the grip from the top to the bottom of the gimbal very fast. This is the Transmon multifunction camera belt. I'm not sure how this one works, but We'll test it out, don't worry. We'll, we'll try all this stuff. This is not going to be a review of the gimbal. I think there's too much stuff to unbox over here. Another quick release plate, so these two are the same. Okay, that's all the stuff in the bag. And this bag is actually really good build quality. Like everything feels solid. It's a hard shell case. Not super heavy without the stuff inside it. Good padding. And we get a couple of sleeves for your laptop. And I think you could easily carry like two camera bodies as well as a bunch of lenses in here and the gimbal itself. This bag is gonna be super handy if you need to carry a bunch of gear. It's also got a couple of cool pockets over here so you can, you know, put in your batteries and, you know, memory card. So yeah, man, uh, quite impressed with the quality of the bag. And I think the design also looks pretty sick. I like it. So a lot of YouTubers use this bag, which is the Peak Design Backpack. So just uh, to give a comparison between the two in terms of size, it's almost similar in size. This is the 20 liter Peak Design Backpack and here is the Zhiyun Backpack that they come with the kit. Very cool, I like it. Now for the main attraction. So we've got another box in here. Yeah, there we go. The Weebill Lab. Now, I've been looking for a gimbal to use. So I've got the Zion V2, the Zion Crane V2, and I really enjoy using it, but there are a few problems with it. One is it didn't come with a stand, so I couldn't put it down easily. It's a bit of a pain to travel with because it like kind of flops around in your bag. And uh, the third issue I had with it was it takes a while to mount your camera on there and make sure it's balanced correctly. So I think all those three problems are solved with this. They've got a new design, which is more compact. They also have locks on it, which allow you to pack it 
very quickly. You put it in your bag and uh, of course they've got a wireless transmission in there so you can see your image. I must say, uh, Zhiyun, I know you send this stuff for me for free. And this is not an ad, by the way, they just sent it to me uh, because they liked my video. I must say their packaging is looking ace. Like this is uh, really like high quality packaging over here, uh, as well as this soft case that they have over here for the lab itself is, uh, is pretty top notch. So check this out. It's actually got locks. Ooh, here is the Weeble lab. Now this thing is super small. This is the whole gimbal in itself now. Let me just show you guys what it looks like compared to the V2. So this is uh, the Zhiyun V2. This part is just a tripod that I put on there so that I could put it down. But yeah, this is the size. This is the actual size of the Zhiyun V2. So as you can see, it's significantly smaller. Two thirds the size in terms of height as well as width. Like look at this, uh, this thing moves around quite a bit and uh, it's a bit of a pain to put it inside your bag so this thing over here is uh, is much smaller it's easy uh, and uh, this thing has locks on it so once you unlock it uh, then they start moving around but for storage this locking mechanism is absolutely awesome to have so in the box we get the lab itself we get a tripod as well so they include that in the box now so you can just screw that on over here you can use this tripod over here to keep it down set it down somewhere standing on my couch as well pretty sturdily so this is a good nice tripod feels solid build quality is really good you also get two batteries in the box traditionally the batteries used to go down over here but now uh, because of this new design which they have so yeah the batteries just go in there you've also got a quick release plate which is pretty cool this is the standard manfrotto quick release plate so a lot of video tripods actually use this uh, the same kind of plate so that just slides on over here a big advantage of that is uh, that you can you know take your camera off your tripod put it straight into your uh, gimbal so the one I had previously didn't have that it also had a quick release plate but like this different kind which is for like photography camera heads this one's more like a video camera head so that's pretty cool we've also got the external battery uh, charger i'm not sure whether this gimbal charges over usb or not we'll try it out and see but they do have an external charger so you can put your batteries in there get an extra set of batteries charge it in here in case you want to keep using this but i have heard the battery life on this is pretty amazing Ooh, so they give you plenty of cables as well in the box so one cool feature about the Weeble lamp is that it actually has a wireless transmission signal so it'll actually take the HDMI output from your camera and stream it to your smartphone uh, which is pretty awesome so they give you all the cables for that we've got a USB-C cable we've got a USB micro USB cable and uh, I think this one's also a micro USB but this one's the one that will go into your camera and uh, they've also got a USB-C to micro USB-C converter. So hopefully these batteries are charged. So let's try that out. I'm gonna mount my other small camera on here. The cool thing about these locks is each arm can be individually locked or unlocked. So once it's locked, then, uh, and it's kind of like a magnetic lock. It feels really nice. So even if I leave it up here and I lock it, it's gonna come back to position and then get locked, which is, just uh, like it just feels good you know again you see this is unlocked right now but uh, I'm gonna lock it and then it like magnetically comes back into place very very cool one of the cool features about this thing is that you know you can have it like a traditional gimbal like you're holding like this and the camera is pointing this way but then you can also switch this like this and use it in an inverted mode like this carry angle for the gimbal as well it's slightly time consuming to like switch it in case you want to get those creative shots you know you might want to do it quickly so that's what these quick release plates are all about let's check out the other thing which is the smartphone side mount they have a nice little mount over here as well where you can like connect it uh, it's got a nice uh, serrated side to it so that you know you know you got a good fit and lock on and then you can like adjust it a little bit to change the angle it rolls out like this once it does this it's got a little lock over here so uh, once it's out it won't turn back in unless you press that lock yeah so that's pretty cool so that helps you stow it away when you're not using it that's pretty cool now this is one that I'm interested in because not only can I use it with the 
gimbal but i can also just use it with my camera i've been thinking of getting a monopod for a while carrying a tripod everywhere can be a bit of a pain this is a lot more compact there we go this is the monopod comes with its own case as well nicely done zhiyun nice man good build quality but it's still light it feels solid you can tell that it's made of metal and a nice quality rubber as well is that all the length we get that's not very long surprise you don't get a bit more oh i guess once you mount the gimbal on there it's pretty long we want the camera to kind of not move around that way yes it's really awesome to get like good product shot and get that like that perfect tilt you'll get a really smooth movement from the camera now i don't have a sd card in here i wish i could show you guys but i will do a comprehensive video and then the last thing which they sent in the kit was this camera multifunction camera belt i guess you can put it around your put it around like that or maybe like that it's got the strap over here that you can actually connect your camera to and uh, i guess your camera hangs from your belt over here and you uh use a quick release play to get your camera off there and take pictures and it's also got like these little uh compartments i guess you could use them to put some things maybe batteries or something though i don't think it would stay in here but uh it looks cool for sure all right guys so that's all the cool stuff you get in the vivo lab master package let me know what you guys thought of this video big thanks to ziyun uh for sending me out this package it was really nice of them and uh, i'll definitely be using the vbill lab in the future we're going to be doing some car videos very soon so you'll get to check out some of the cool cinematic shots that you get out of this gimbal so i'll also be doing a comprehensive review of it let me just spend a little bit more time with this thing figure out all its features and i'll do a full comprehensive review for you guys so if you want to know more about this gimbal or just generally find some cool interesting content on this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon And uh if you like this video do hit that like button leave me a comment subscribe to watch more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Now I have to clean up this whole mess It's like a war zone in here guys